Hey everybody, it's Rob from Flail Throughs. This is Gundam Battle Operation 2, and this is a request from 6th Pulsar, who wanted the Regelgu in uh, Anaheim Laboratory log colors, which are basically brighter versions uh, of the standard Gelgu colors. Uh, just took a little bit to match up the fuel tanks and beam sabers and things uh, properly, because the colors break down a little bit differently. But uh, it's not a bad uh, mobile suit. I went with... Uh, I went with the uh, rocket launcher this time that the uh, high mobility Gelgug uses because, and the cannon because uh, that's what the laboratory log version uses uh, in its line art so uh, that's what I went with and yeah so it is all uh, it is all ballistic damage except for its uh, beam saber of course which is melee uh, but yeah it is and a stab and two stabs but it did not uh, it pretty sure dodged out of the way didn't keep it alive but yeah uh but yeah so the when you use the beam rifle you actually have two grenade launchers and they behave slightly differently this one readies up very slowly but has tremendous round velocity and damage so it get, gets about 3600 damage out of that and yeah it just flies really fast as grenade launchers in this game go so very handy to have and I'm readying that up to follow up. It is on the left wrist, though, so you really kind of have to watch your firing angle compared to other things. And go and uh, uh, tag that Zeta in the back. Only had one missile left because I forgot to reload, as I do. And there's that. Caught it on the uh, on the back of the downswing. The beam toothpick is not bad. It just it's just different enough from the standard beam naginata that I I have to use it a little bit differently. Um, the straight blades have a little bit more range on the downswing than uh, the Naginata does, I believe. But on uh, on the uh, on the neutral swing, it is a straight up uh, thrust as opposed to a as opposed to a swing. It is just it is just a yeah, it's just a poke. So you have to be on the ball and ready to uh, aim that uh, properly to get the most out of it, which can be done. And tagged it good. And yeah, I okay. I remember what it is about this round, which it goes fairly well for me here in the beginning. But yeah, uh, you'll see what's up with the rest of it as we go on. So you just got to chase this person down, tag them, and I think I'm gonna get the kill. Yep, managed to get around that person, and I'm not sure. Okay, yeah, they thought they didn't realize I'd already gotten the kill and tried to uh, tried to get around the person who was there as well, so I don't think they were deliberately attacking a teammate, just stuff happens. And which is something I could stand to remember myself sometimes, but uh, that should be a kill. Yep. And yeah, I, I'm definitely going to be the ace, and it just, uh, you know, I, I just wish I do be uh, did better after that, but as I said, stuff happens. And stab, pulling back because the downswing would probably have hit number five, which I really didn't want to do. Though it would have been, they probably would have taken less damage than if uh, that had happened. So, yeah, sending sorry, but I think I'm going to be able to get this kill too. And tag them, and yep, just going to fire some missiles as I go and get that kill. And be killed myself. I'm not even sure it was firing at me. I just, it was just too many, too many flashing lights, and I, and I could not figure it out. So, best thing to do in that case is back off and get a little perspective. And thought that would have connected, but oh well. And let's see. Yeah, I forgot that these two buildings do not uh, do not connect. It's the next one over you can get around. Uh, grenade is ready again. I really ought to just uh, load this up entirely with reload parts and see if I can use the gr uh, grenade more often. Because, like I said, it's a great weapon. That is a Mark II, and I tagged it, and I'm dead, because I thought that Zeta Gundam was ours for some reason. I thought we had that point. We didn't have that point, so yeah, that Zeta just walked up and killed me. Uh, let's see. It is now, however, yeah, that Mark II is on the ground. I think the Zeta, uh, the Zeta tackled it. But we've got 30 seconds left. I'm pretty sure I will be the ace. We're a little bit split up, and we're pushed back to our base, but we've still got the lead, and hopefully we can uh, keep it. But, yeah, uh, 15 seconds left, I'm about to spawn in, and, yeah, I'm pretty confident that I'm the ace, but let's see what we can do. Uh, 
I've gotten a good number of kills so far, it's just that I'm pretty sure I don't get any more by the end of the match. Let's see, T uh, missed that, somebody got that kill. I am the ace. And there is the enemy ace, who, you know, if we can get to to kill, that would be great. I'm trying to get around my allies to launch a shot. Stun the ace, time to pull back, because I'm taking, I'm taking hits. And you can't get through there anyway, but just the, I, I kind of had to think of it as my shoulders are getting caught. Because, yeah, it's, it's got the big shoulders. Am I going to go down after the ace? No, not yet. I am, however, going to chase that person down. Because if I can, you know, any kills I can make do, uh, do the team a lot of good. Somebody got that. As you can see, the ace also gets triple points for assists. I, okay, yeah, so I did get one kill as ace, which is better than I remember doing. Because, yeah, as you can see, my team is not even hesitating to uh, wipe out enemies once they've, uh, once they have stunned them. which Or once they have, you know, damaged them. Zeta got the drop on me, and they got the kill. Yeah, so, I mean, the ace is fair game. Whoever kills the ace kills the ace, because it's worth the same points to anyone who kills them. But, yeah, so, we are we have got a tremendous lead already, and it could be even bigger if the, like, three or four kills my team has made had been, had been left to me. So, ah, trying not to whine about that, but uh, it's, it is just a statement of fact. And, no, I, okay, well, trying to keep that person from taking that mobile suit. Got the pilot, and... Yeah, that is our Nemo 3, so I can't do anything about that. I can, however, stop and take the point, because I really shouldn't be out of my mobile suit, but there's nothing around, and, you know, not it's not going to take me long to get back in it. Plus, someone's going to uh, come up and try and uh, fight me one-on-one, -on -one, but they're not going to get a chance to. So here's the problem, though. As I'm backing away from that one person, from, uh, from the person who was basically the bait, I backed into the entire enemy team's crossfire. So, my team... I don't know if they weren't interested in uh, defending me or just didn't see what was going on, but yeah, they, I just got focused down immediately. So, yeah, the enemy team's going to make up some points here. They're not going to get the win, but... Uh, uh, but it will go okay in the end anyway, because we are still... We are still making kills and getting points. Um... But, yeah. Okay, so... 30-some seconds left. If I can isolate somebody and kill them, that would be great. But I'm also basically the only thing here surrounded by three people, so the best thing I can do is try to stay alive. Yeah, they're about to finish off one of my teammates, and... Yep, I am here by myself. Luckily, Regelg has double dodge roll, so I am just trying to fight in retreat. I was hoping to get that kill, but now, because I tried... Oh, well, they're gonna, they're not going to stop me from uh, getting attacked, but they are going to kill a person that was on the ground. Uh, yeah, so I am... And I'm not going to get that kill either, so yeah. I was getting a little testy about that by the end of the match, which is why I uh, sent this as my last message, so... Yeah, but it worked out. You know, they killed enough things that we still won it, and their enemy ace wa the enemy ace wasn't really on the ball either, so... And six kills, five out of which were before the bu uh, ace buzzer, not bad, and only two deaths. So, that is going to do it for today's Gundam Battle Operation 2. Hope you liked it, Pulsar, and until next time, everybody take care and have fun. Later! Yeah, basically I ran this just because... Yeah, I did just the disparity between how well I did at the beginning and end of the round is just kind of ridiculous. And also just one of those things of... I don't remember if I've ever seen an ace uh, match go quite like that and still be a runaway win, so... It felt like, uh, worth, uh, like it was worth memorializing.